Hi everyone, James Slotnick here. We're back with our sixth edition of our Countdown to the Election video series. Gotten a few questions over the past week about what would happen if there was a 269-269 electoral college tie. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is not a very realistic scenario. Well, two things for you. One, it's 2020, so that means expect the unexpected. But two, in 2016, we actually weren't that far away from a 269-269 tie. If Secretary Clinton had won Michigan, Pennsylvania in the second district of Maine, she would have had 269 electoral votes and President Trump would have had 269 electoral votes. So if former Vice President Biden can follow the same roadmap as Secretary Clinton, but win Michigan, Pennsylvania in that second district of Maine, we would go in with a 269-269 tie. Now we have to remember that Nebraska and Maine, they're a little unique in how they provide their electoral votes. Each winner of the overall state popular vote gets a certain number of electoral votes, but each congressional district in those states also awards a vote. So in 2016, for example, Secretary Clinton won the overall popular vote in Maine. She also won more votes in the first district of Maine, but President Trump won more votes in the second district of Maine, which is why he got that one electoral vote. So again, if former Vice President Biden wins Michigan, Pennsylvania, and that second elect or that second district electoral vote in Maine, and, and all the other states that Secretary Clinton won, he would have 269 electoral votes. President Trump would have 269 electoral votes. What happens then? Well, the House of Representatives would be the ones that decide who the president is. Now, at first blush, you'd say, well, Democrats hold the majority in the House are likely to even after the 2020 election. And so that's an advantage for former Vice President Biden. However, the way that the rules are structured for this ballot is that it's not the number of representatives you have in total. It's the number of state delegations that you control. So right now in the House of Representatives, there are 26 states where there's more Republicans in their delegation than Democrats. There's 23 states where there's more Democrats in the delegation than Republicans. And there's one state, Pennsylvania, that has nine Republicans and nine Democrats. So each state is allocated one vote and it's a majority of whoever gets the most votes from the delegation. So if 26 states have more Republicans, that actually puts President Trump at an advantage if there's a 269-269 tie. Now, who would be the vice president in this situation? Well, the Senate would decide who the vice president is. They don't go by state delegation. Each senator have their own vote. Now, if the de Democrats take the Senate in the 2020 election, in a crazy, only could happen in 2020 situation, you could see if there was this tie, the House of Representatives, which has more Republican delegations, reelecting President Trump, where the Senate, potentially with more Democrats, elects a Democratic, form, a Democratic vice president. We'll have to watch and we'll have more for you next week.